I guarantee you that nobody is talking about this method to find profitable products to resell on Amazon that I'm about to show you. It's not the traditional ways of going through a seller's storefront or sourcing on the website. You are actually getting to the deals before everybody else and you're able to go into whatever niche you want to resell in on Amazon. As a matter of fact, this tool turns the millions of products on Amazon's database down to just a few hundred profitable ones. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can use this method to untap products in whatever niche you want to sell in. With that being said, let's get into the video so you can see exactly how this all works. And as always, if you got value, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Let's get into it. I guarantee you nobody's talking about this method that I'm about to show you. It's actually one of the biggest hacks for finding products in any niche that you want to sell in. Now I'm going to break it all down and show you ex my exact strategy of how I find profitable products in whatever category I want. So I go to the Keep a Product Finder. You know, I always talk about this because it's such a powerful tool. It can filter down the Amazon database from millions of products down to like 300. So I'll show a couple different examples and I'll kind of start breaking down the process of how we source these profitable products. So let's say I want to get in the uh, cosmetics niche. I want to do beauty and personal care. So what I can do is go to the Keep a Product Finder and I can actually scroll down it's a little bit lower down. It's in the root category. So first I need to select the root category. That is step one. After you've done that, let's say I want to sell makeup or eyeliner or whatever. I can actually get even deeper in the weaves and find the most profitable makeup products on Amazon. So you can see there's foundations. You, know, you can go for one of the larger subcategories if you'd like because that way you'll get a decent search. Um, let, and then you can you know change it up. You can do eye. You can do foundation. You can kind of change it up however you please. Eye is a pretty big subcategory, so it's just like eye makeup. Um, but if we click foundation, for example, we can actually find the most profitable foundation products and then go reverse trace to or go trace them back to where you can find them profitably on Google, whatever website it may be. So it eliminates the process of having to go through a stellar storefront or go deep in a manual search or anything like that. It really just streamlines the process and makes it so much quicker. Um, and you can write down like a list of subcategories that you want to target on a weekly basis and you can go from there. And it's a really effective strategy that we use a lot in the business to scale over to seven figures a year in revenue and have really good profit margins because nobody's really doing this type of method. So what we do is we plug in a, a sales rank. So we go for uh, let's say 120. That's a good sales rank because it's it's basically capping out at a max or the minimum is 100 sales a month that we want to hit here around. So what we can do next is we can eliminate Amazon from the listing if we'd like. That'll make it a little easier if you want. Um, from there, we would want to eliminate some private label products. Um, so what we would do is we would go to, let's say, a max of six sellers on the listing or a minimum, sorry, of six sellers and then a max of 40 and that this will be 40 to prevent any saturation of like 60 70 sellers or anything like that I mean you could do 50 if you'd want it's kind of up to you it's not really going to change it like too much um, but it will just kind of prevent like seeing a lot of saturated ASINs so another important thing to note you can actually plug in multiple cat subcategories so if I want to do foundation I and I want to type in more. Maybe there's another good subcategory. So you don't have to do all the searches one by one. Um, you can do face makeup. So you can see, you know, you can kind of make it the most important ones. And then you have a pretty, pretty big search. <clears throat> Looks like there's a lot of profitable products in makeup. So we can do lips as well. Um, so we're kind of just narr narrowing down from all the subcategories that you commonly see profitable products in. And these are like the four main ones, I would say, as far as the makeup niche goes. So from there, um, that's pretty much it. I mean, you can also kind of get more granular if you want to look for more faster selling items just to get the search a little bit lower. You can do under 80,000 and then you would load the search. And from there, you would want to check these ASINs out. So it looks like there's a lot of different products. You can also exclude brands that, you know, you know that you're restricted in. That's another hack. So like, let's say you can't sell Maybelline. What you can do to streamline the process and, and avoid like looking at all those. Or if there's a brand that you know that you like as well, you can do it the other way around. So Maybelline, let's say you want to exclude it. You can. If you can't sell Revlon, 
you can exclude it here as well. So you can do that. Or on the other hand, you can also do this. You can be like, okay, I wanna look for uh, Laura Geller was one of the products that we saw there. So I wanna look for only Laura Geller products, for example. You know, now you can see, okay, these are seven products that are just from this brand. So whatever brand you choose, you can do that. And you can also add multiple brands. So if there's a couple brands that you really like that you know you're ungated in, you can do that search as well. And new products will pop in and out as well from this search. So it's really effective. And I'll give another example as far as like subcategories go. So let's say you want to do um, household or you want to do maybe another beauty product, but now you want to do shampoos. So you want to just focus on solely shampoo and conditioner sets or shampoos, shampoo and then shampoo and conditioner set. So there you go. Now you have 500 products in this subcategory of just shampoo that are under 80,000. Um, and then, then you can kind of exclude any brands you want. Um, but once you have these pr basic filters in, it gets pretty easy. The only thing you might have to play with is the sales rank and then obviously the subcategory and the category. Um, but now we have tons of different products that you could potentially sell in this uh, subcategory of shampoo and, and a conditioner. You can also add body wash to this. So like you see how you kind of just kind of have to turn your wheels in your brain and kind of think what is related. Now body wash, we have over a thousand potential products that we could sell and and you know, you don't have to do this all at once. You could do body wash one day, uh, shampoo another if you want to break it down or you could just save this search and then go back into it the next day if you don't want to get through a thousand products in one day because that can be a lot. Um, but this basically makes it go from millions of products to a couple hundred, which is extremely effective. So I'll give another example as well. Um, so let's say we want to look at only, hmm, I would say like another one, if you're like a sports and outdoor guy, like, or tools and home improvement, you know, you can do something like that, but let's say sports and outdoors. This is an example that I like to talk about as far as like a, um, seasonal item. So let's say we want to look for football. This could be great. Like in a couple months when football season's about to start, but you can look at football equipment. You can look at soccer equipment. You could just type in a bunch and then you can kind of combine them all together. Um, and then you'll have some good stuff. So yeah, football equipment's here. You can also do like face masks, you know, yard markers, those type of things. Um, you can do whatever you want as far as like subcategories go. And, and there's, the sky is limitless in terms of like what you can do. You can do shin guards. That's like a common one I've sold before. Um, maybe goalkeeper gloves, like those type of things. Obviously right now you're probably not going to see a lot of products in this, but as you get closer to the season, you know, those sales ranks are going to start to drop and you're going to be able to see a lot more of these types of products. But that's another example. So there's this, there literally the options are limitless. Like I'll give one last example, maybe in terms of like grocery, let's say we want to look at like crackers, for example, or maybe like just kind of like those type of items, like a cracker. So there's crackers is a subcategory. You can see there's 31 products in the crackers category. Um, we can do, I'm trying to think of other things like cookies. I mean, I don't know if that's the greatest example, but there are a lot of cookie products. Um, chocolate, for example, you might have to FBM that during the summer. It's, and yeah, it's almost April, which you're not able to um, ship those FBA after April 15th. So that's coming up just to note, but now you can see we have 600 products. So there's so many options with this. The sky is literally limitless. And then once you have it, here's the next step. So, you know, we have these cookie products. Let's say we click on this one and we want to go to Amazon to look at the product and look at the listing, make sure everything checks out. And if it looks good, and as far as the metrics we really look at, we just make sure the brand matches and the brand matches. Uh, we look at the keep a chart, make sure it looks good. Keep a chart looks pretty stable. So what we would want to do from here is just go to Google and see, hey, where can we find this product at a lower price? Looks like they have it at 10. Maybe if you get some coupon codes, it could become profitable. So you can kind of see exactly like what we're thinking when we are doing these searches. It looks like another website potentially you can source it from. And then you just want to go through them all. Like 
One thing I will point out is a lot of those like bulk chips Ahoy items are probably like wholesale, like these snack pack things. But in terms of those smaller items, those are usually arbitrage, like less bulk items and then like niche items, you know, you can find a lot of arbitrage opportunity with. And then you just go down the line and like click on whatever looks interesting as a good Keepa chart. You just go to Google. So the process is pretty simple with the Keepa product finder. And it's a way that's a lot different from what most people do. You know, you can find products before everybody else. You can find lots of interesting opportunities that are outside of just looking at somebody's storefront. So definitely an amazing way, you know, to make a good chunk of change on Amazon and get some good profit margins. So hope you guys got some. And if you did, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one.